what's up guys and welcome to FIFA 16 potential cards for the transfer rumours that are around today. So then guys, I have six players that are apparently on the move according to Sky Sports, ESPN or the newspapers. So if you think I'm right or wrong about them, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know if I've missed any people that you want to tell me about as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into our first player, which will be Radam Al Falcao. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, we have Falcao's Manchester United 88 rate card. 88 just seems so ridiculous for the season he's just had. But nevertheless, Sky Sports and newspapers are reporting that Ranamal Falcao is obviously going to go to Chelsea. So I don't know what is with that rumour, but apparently it's in advanced talks. And all the loan deal is done with Monaco, so he'll be in England next season apparently. Now I've given him an 86 rated card because obviously with the season he's had... It's been awful. But the player that Falcao is, he still is a fantastic goal scorer, no matter what anyone says. So the, I can't give him too much of a downgrade, but the 86, I think, will be so, uh, along the lines of what he will be next season. W do I hope that Falcao will be good next season? I do, but I hope he doesn't play well against Man United, which is obviously my club. So let's now move on to a player who's going out of Old Trafford. And right then, moving swiftly on, we are on to, unfortunately, David De Gea. Now, I absolutely love this guy, and apparently he's off to Real Madrid, but there's so many other deals and speculation going on with who's coming forth or whether it's just money. But I don't care, I just really want De Gea to stay because he's such a beast. But nevertheless, if he went to Real Madrid, I'd think he'd have that 87 rated card. I mean, that would be end of Casillas, I think. That would be the end of Iga Casillas. Obviously, he's had a fantastic career at Real Madrid, but... I think David De Gea would outshine him any day of the week. Well, the boys, let's move on to a player who is apparently coming to Old Trafford because of the David De Gea deal. Moving on from what I said about David De Gea, we move on to Karim Benzema, who is apparently on his way to Old Trafford as part of the David De Gea deal. Now then, would you guys enjoy seeing Karim Benzema in the Premier League? Now, that is the question. I think he would be unbelievable in the Premier League. I mean, Benzema playing with someone like maybe the pace whore of Sturridge or maybe the power of Rooney or someone. I think he'll be good in FIFA 16 if he did play at Man United. And I do think he would be good in the Premier League. Very exciting to watch as he's a very, very good striker. Now then, we're moving away from Manchester United completely. We are going to move now to Barcelona and someone who might be coming in to them. Here we go then, guys. Moving on to the penultimate player of this transfer rumours today. We have Paul Pogba. Now, he's apparently on the move to everywhere at the minute, but the team that's most linked with him is Barcelona, with apparently an €80 million Euro bid apparently coming in for Paul Pogba. Although Man City are in it at the moment, I think Barcelona are just ahead because they've been in talks and things like that with his agent. So I think Pogba will have an 86 rating in FIFA 16 if he does go to Barcelona or whether he stays at Juventus or wherever the freaking hell he goes. But either way, Pogba is the new Yaya Torre. He will be unfricking believable whatever team he plays for or whatever team you put him in, whether it be an Ultimate team or whether he plays in real life. It will be sick. So let's move on to the last player, which I know I'm sorry, but it is a player coming into Old Trafford. And that is it. We will be finished with the transfer rumours for today. Here we go there guys, moving on to the last player in this transfer rumours today, we move on to Nicolas Otamendi. So he obviously plays for Ju uh, Juventus, no he doesn't, he plays for Valencia at the minute. And he's obviously linked with a 26 odd million euro move to Manchester United. Now obviously with Man United's defensive frailties everywhere, right back, centre backs, left back, they're all shit. De Gea saved them basically. So if De Gea goes, they definitely need to get in a centre back or another goalkeeper to consolidate their team. And Ottomendi would do that because he's had a fantastic season, obviously, with his team of the season card, which is awesome by the way. So if you haven't used him, use him if you can. And he would be awesome in the Man United team. So if Man United can get him, that would be awesome. So that will be it for today's video, guys. That's the transfer rumours that I've chosen. So if you did like this video, smash the like button for me. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more new FIFA content and few FIFA videos. And until next time, have a very nice day and we'll see you later.